Hi there, with Sue Reed, who's a body mechanic with over 45 years of experience in kind of keeping people like myself and you active and enjoying your activities. And today we've kind of already covered um, kind of working up, we've already covered the calves. We're now looking at the knee mm -hmm. and your typical kind of pains that you get. Um, and I think the first one we're going to cover is kind of frontal mm. knee pain. Knee pain, yeah. yeah. Um, that's usually the most common, isn't it, when you get it down here or anywhere around this kneecap. Yeah. Um, so the kneecap uh, only develops between the ages of two and six. Right. Uh, you're not born with one, so that means that it develops within the quadricep group of muscles. Right. So that's quite important because whatever happens within the muscle, so if the muscle tightens, it will have an impact on the kneecap itself. So we've got a muscle on the outside, the inside, and two in the middle. So if we have, imagine your kneecap is like this, and we have the muscle pulling this way, it's yeah. going to maltrack that knee. So the little bump underneath that patella doesn't then run in the groove as smoothly. It's going to be at a slight angle, so you yeah. can often get knee pain in here. Yeah. And if it goes the other way, you'll get pain on the other side, right, okay. particularly coming downhill because we're five times heavier coming right. downhill. Yeah. And when you run downhill, these are engaged because they act as a brake to stop you yeah. from just collapsing. So yeah. they're, they're really, really important and they're really super strong as we yeah. know. So that's called maltracking. If they're all tight, then it pushes the whole kneecap and this groove underneath the patella into that groove and it compresses it and then you get knee pain. Yeah. You can also get knee pain underneath on this tendon where it's really pulling because it attaches there on that bumpy bit of bone. Uh, and then you've got tendon, you've got kneecap, then you've got tendon again and then the muscles come all the way up here, yeah. attached to the femur, yeah. three of them do, and the other one attaches to this hip bone at the front right, here. Okay. Uh, and that does that as well as straighten the leg right, okay. uh, and act as a break. So, should we have a go at treating it? Yeah. So we need, a, again, a soft muscle. And yeah. the way to do that is to have a short muscle. And that will be the shortest. Right, okay. okay. Um, we can use our forearm yeah. to try and treat that. So keep it, make sure it's all loose and wobbly. And then just push that muscle down. Find your depth. Yeah. First, you can push it down or you can bring it back up. It doesn't really matter which way you go. You're not going to go further than this tendon. So when you tighten your leg, you see the tendon here. So is that literally a couple of like almost like an in, inch or so? Yeah. 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 So don't go into your kneecap. No. Pull just, out before just you get to Just above that kneecap. tendon. Yeah. That's right. Uh, some people have higher tendons. Some people have hardly any. But yes, you don't want to go. Usually with cycling shorts, for example, they come to there, that's yeah. perfect. Right, okay. That's as far as you need to and go. And then, is it your elbow that you're going in with, or is it your forearm, or...? That's a good question. No, we're going to use our forearm, we're going to use the bone here. Right, okay. Uh, we're not going to use the point of it, so keep it flat, as yeah. if it was a rolling pin. You can use a rolling pin, in fact. Um, and you just bring it up, and you'll feel certain little bits and bumps. You do. To do the outside, you just lift your hand slightly, and that will change the angle of this part of your arm. Oh, All right, so feel it. Yeah, can you feel it there? Yeah. Got it? Yes. <laughs> There's the pain. Um, and you'll come across some lumps and bumps of tightness within that muscle. Yeah. And you can just isolate that a little bit, again, right. keeping your elbow at an angle, not pointy, keep your hand at an angle. Yeah diagonal really and then just massage that little lump out of the bit. Just working that cramp out. Are you kind of keeping an even pressure or are you trying to, if you find a, a painful bit, are you kind of pushing harder into it or are you just trying you're to not, keep an even pain if you see what I mean? Yeah, you need an even pain yeah. and your pain, if we gauge it so from 10 down to 1, 10 is the most painful part and 1 is nothing, Yeah. then you need about a 6. Seven to make it work, to right. do anything constructive. Yeah. Um, but but going no, up to ten. There's no just, point. You, right. No, your body will just reject you. It right, won't okay. like it. The yeah. muscle will send all kinds of messages to yeah. your brain telling you not to do it. So you're better off sticking it about seven if you can. Right. Okay, and working that. So now change the elbow to drop the hand and you can now work the inside. So massage really is a manual way of stretching the muscle tissue. 
that's what we're doing. So yeah. as we come down, we're stretching this part of the muscle, and as we come up, we're putting more stretch on this part of the muscle. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. So now what we can do is stretch the more. So if we stand, put one foot on the bed, so we're going to have the leg out straight a little bit. Right, okay. Not locked, just a little bit. Yeah. And now the same thing, we're going to start from here, so there's your kneecap, this is where we need to start, just yeah. a bit above. Pop some weight on there. Yeah. Okay. And now bend the knee slowly at the same time as you bring your oh, forearms just up. really slowly. Yeah, so what we're doing in effect is this, we're stretching it. Yeah. They so just rear them and attach to here, remember, so yeah. we don't need to bring it behind us. Um, and now we're stretching it at the same time. Yeah. So again, start with a relaxed muscle. And again, I think having having a, a kind of a layer on is easier than skin to skin. It is, <laughs> yes, that's a good point. So if you're going to use skin to skin, you probably need some lotion of some sort yeah. or chip oil. It doesn't really matter what it is, Anything. as long as it glides. Yeah. Help you it doesn't matter what it is. Yeah. Um, the clothing is quite easy, which is great if you're out on the bells or out on the roads or wherever you are. Yeah. You can get on. So yeah, make this muscle quite soft again. Find your depth. Yeah. Okay. Pop your forearm on there. And now bend the knee and bring this arm up at the same time. Yeah. So we're doing the inside one, which is the medial. We're doing the centre one. Yeah. And again, you did a little kind of almost like a little kind of a twist off yeah, as you got near the end. Yeah, it's because the muscles come right the way up here. They're really thick yeah. insertions up here. Um, origin. So, yeah, just a, a little, it's not an extra push, it's just pulling up as far as you can. So, don't stop here because the muscle doesn't stop there. It comes all You've the way up. You've got to go up. all the way yeah, up. Yeah, if you can. Yeah. yeah. Right, okay. okay. Yeah. Is that all right? Yeah. Just Spawn. Stretch them. Yeah. Can we do a stretch? Yeah, let's do a stretch. Okay, so to stretch them, because we've got three, you've got two on the inside and one on the side. If you're going to stretch them, you need to keep your body up straight. Yeah. Just don't let your hips go. Keep your hips forward as if they had a face and there were two eyes facing yeah. forwards. Yeah. Okay. You're going to keep your hips square. Let this knee drop down. Yeah. Keep the leg relaxed. That's it, good. Now you're stretching the ones in the middle. Yeah. Okay. Bring, keep your knees to get almost together, that's it. Yeah. Lovely. And now swap hands and so take the other hand and bring the leg to the inside of your body. Now yeah. you're stretching the one on the outside. That's yeah. lateralis. Okay. Yeah. And you hold it for about 15, 20 seconds. And now swap hands and take it to the outside a little bit, yeah. keeping the knees together, still keeping those hips facing forwards. And now, just take it out a little bit more. That's it. And now you'll feel the inside that's yeah. stretching the medialis. So you're stretching all three then? Yes, yeah, so you can do one one type of stretch, but three different movements. Three different angles. To so see. should you like, if I'm going to do say 15 to 20 seconds, mm -hmm. should I let my leg drop, relax it off, and then do the next you or should you just do it all way. in sequence? The only time you wouldn't do that is if you have any knee problems, such as meniscus problems, cartilage problems, or anything that's going to aggravate it. So yeah. as soon as you put it into stretch and you go, that's not comfortable, don't do it. Yeah, don't so need pain to stretch. Is, if it's painful. If it's painful, you don't do yeah. it. So the stretching is an extra. It's almost like polishing something off. Yeah. But you, the most important part is actually working it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, the stretch is a bit of an extra. Yeah. Right. Brilliant. Okay. Thank you. Fantastic.